Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at the Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Rogue. And again, this would be Rogue in her most iconic look. This is what people think of when they think of Rogue in general. She's got the iconic voice, several iconic scenes. Uh, you know the ones I'm talking about. And yeah, we've had another Rogue figure and it was, it was alright. And now we've got this Rogue figure which is pretty similar on, in a lot of ways. I don't like that they've sculpted the bits that should protrude from her outfit into her outfit, just out the gate. I think that's lazy. Uh, the jacket, interesting colour. Uh, the hair, the face. I don't think I like the face of this one as much as I liked on the other figure. I've sold the other figure, so unfortunately I can't do a comparison. But, yeah, I'll just have to live with looking at this gal on her own, but height-wise you can see she's taller than Wolverine, which, good, she should be taller than Wolverine. She's, yeah, a decent, decent sculpt. I think the yellow on the chest is a little different to the yellow on the rest of her, so, but aesthetically she is a, a good figure. Yeah, even if, I don't know, so something about the face seems a little off to me. Oh well. Articulation-wise, can get to the 90, we've got a nice little X symbol paint on there as well. You can do the full rotation. Doesn't have a bicep swivel, but her elbow swivels and bends to 90 degrees. Wrists with a hinge, but not moving great. Little stiff, little stiff. But she's got a nice sort of waist ball joint there. Got a loose belt, so not going to hinder movement. Can't quite get into 90 degrees. Not sure why. Leg comes forward this much. She's got a double jointed knee that will bend that much. No shin swivel, unfortunate. Foot goes down that much. Comes up that much. A little bit of pivot. It's just a head move. It goes up that much, down that much. A little bit of attitude. And the hair kind of gets in the way of a 360 spin, but you could do it. So articulation wise, not amazing. Accessories wise, she's got two extra hands. One that is a hand that's holding a glove she's removed, and, a, like, a hand that is displaying that she has removed her glove. So not a huge range of accessories, not a huge range of articulation, just an okay sculpt. So, a bit disappointing for a very iconic character from a very iconic series. Definitely not up to snuff, especially having looked at the Wolverine, who was very well executed. So, overall, I think I'm only going to give this rogue a 3.5 out of 5. She is in by no means amazing, not terrible on any level, but just, yeah, would have would have wanted more from Rogue. So, alright, let's dive into the pictures and wrap this up. One sec. Okay, folks, and there you have it, the Marvel Legends X-Men 97 Rogue. Again, not perfect, 3.5 out of 5, needs more articulation. Vis like In terms of visuals, looks quite good in motion, like you can see in those pictures, she looks amazing with Apocalypse. Also, this reminded me how good that Apocalypse figure was. Re re big fan. Um, yeah, but just needs a little more oomph. I don't know why they can't nail Rogue, especially since she's like such a famous character. But, you know, that is what it is. Hopefully the show is good. Also, did she ever try and use her powers on Apocalypse in the old show? I can't remember. I imagine it would have been one of those cases where she touched him and he was too powerful and it knocked her out. But, uh, did she ever try? I'll have to rewatch. Um, yeah. So, if you really like Rogue, I guess she's worth picking up. But she's not perfect, and be aware of that. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this interview, we have plenty more. We've got Hero House, Figure Fights, Top 10 List, Ranking List, just loads of content to enjoy. So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks for your time and all the best. Bye.